At the end of the night, it appears that the, the Gutwin government has been re-elected. The only doubt remains whether it will quite reach the majority that was so determined to achieve at the election. If you look at the overall vote for the election, the Liberals have fallen just short of 49%. They're slightly down on last time. Liberals, Labour 28, Greens 12.6. The change in votes since the last election, the Liberals down slightly. A bad result for the Labour Party, mainly due to a very poor result in the, the Hobart-based seat of Clark. If we look at the Chamber, uh, at the end of the night, with ones and likelies, it's pretty certain the Liberals have a, they, they have 12 seats. Labor has nine, there are two Greens, and there's one other independent, Christy Johnson, looks like to be elected from the elected clerk. She's the mayor of Glenorchy, which is the northern part of Hobart. If the Liberals don't win an extra seat, which we think they will, then a second independent would be elected, an ex-Liberal. So whatever happens, the Liberal Party will be able to govern either with the two independents and they don't then have to rely on the Greens, which was a, a, an important point for them. Not much has actually changed at the election. You've got to remember the Tasmanian electoral system is proportional. It's the Hare Clark electoral system. There's five members elected from each of the five, five electors. The, the Liberal Party has won three seats in Bass, Braddon and Lyons again. They've won two in Franklin. They have won in Clark, which gives them the 12, and we think they'll win a second seat in Clark. So um, for all the movement and action of the election campaign, not much has changed. The government has turned around. It's a position in the opinion polls because of COVID-19 compared to 12 months ago. But in the end, this election result is pretty close to a repeat of the last state election result in 2018. So, Anthony, you say a Liberal majority is most likely. Is this further evidence of Australians rewarding governments for keeping them safe during COVID? Uh, yes, so I think I think I think there are other reasons in terms of state politics in Tasmania why the result has come out the way it has. It's certainly not been the the big endorsement that we saw in the, the massive endorsement we saw in Western Australia or the one we saw in Queensland. It certainly assisted the government to get re-elected. That uh, when you go back a year when Peter Gutwin first became premier and before COVID arrived. The, the Liberal Party was trailing the Labor Party in opinion polls and Peter Gutman was not the preferred Premier, it was Rebecca White. That all turned around because of COVID-19 and 12 months later they've called an early election and they got back with basically a repeat of the elect last election. So the, the, the good performance during the COVID-19 academic uh, epidemic has certainly helped the government get re-elected and turned around where they were from last year.